Hello, my name is Dr. David Cathcart, and I'm from Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri. Occupational therapy in medicine is one area that is fairly specialized. And uh, the people that enter into occupational medicine usually require, uh, in addition to a four-year uh, degree, an undergraduate degree, they usually have to have a master's in occupational medicine. And then they usually require six months of supervised uh, uh, work. Occupational therapists help people to regain their abilities to perform everyday tasks. So particularly people that have had strokes where they've lost the use of their hand or perhaps they've lost the, the, the use of some of their speech, uh, occupational therapists help them regain that or at least to adapt to uh, what they are capable of doing. So they might help them with, uh, with uh, devices that might help them grab things or pick things up or they might help them with uh, speech, occupational, or uh, speech therapy. Uh, but occupational therapists essentially take a person that has uh, suffered some health consequence, either as a result of an injury or an illness, and then they uh, take uh, the capabilities that, that person has and helps train them to function in the everyday world. They usually make anywhere between thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars on average. Um, uh, some, of course, would do a little better. Uh, some not as well. But that's that's pretty much the uh, the average uh, that an occupational therapist would get. The amount of time that someone would uh, have to commit for occupational therapy career would be four years of college in an undergraduate program, and then a two-year master's uh, program in occupational therapy. Uh, then they would have to pass state and national boards, and then they would have to do six week or sorry six months of supervised work. That's typically the requirements for uh, someone entering occupational therapy. Uh, well, thanks thanks for taking this time to explore medical careers with me. Again, I'm Dr. David Cathcart with Heartland Regional Medical Center in St. Joseph, Missouri.